back and forth because we don't know better. Hello, my name is Brandy, aka Pixelated Twix. If you're new here, welcome to my little corner. And if you're an OG, welcome back. Happy Friday, guys. It is Friday, isn't it? I'm so glad it's Friday. You guys don't understand the relief that I'm feeling right now. It's been a long week. Anyways, let's get into this cast video because that's why you're here, right? I have a guilty pleasure of reading romance novels. Uh, I hope I'm not alone in this, but if I am, oh well, I'm, I'm living in my truth. But I had a notion and it was to share with you, you guys some of my favorite romance novel couples of modern day, not from historical uh, views, but the first couple I wanted to share with you guys was from a novel called Natural Born Charmer and it's by Susan Elizabeth Phillips. She's very well known in the, I guess, romance genre and she writes a lot of series. She's got two. Um, one of it, one is called the Chicago Stars um, romance series and the other is called the Wynette series. Wynette takes place in Texas and Chicago Stars, well of course, Chicago. And Chicago Stars series follows a football team and their players and how they find love. And the first couple is Blue Bailey and Dean Robillard. Now I'm not doing this in any particular order because there's eight novels I believe and um, I've read seven out of the eight because the new one I haven't even touched yet. Now the story starts off with a hero, Dean Robillard. Uh, he is the quarterback for the Chicago Stars. He's extremely handsome, very rich, and very popular among the ladies. He's uh, also a billboard model for a underwear uh, company called the end zone anyways he is on his way to view his summer home that he purchased sight unseen you know because that's rich people stuff right and he's been communicating with his um, I guess interior designer she's been handling all the um, the remodeling in his home so he really wants to go and check in because she has been answering his phone calls um, and I believe he's she's only been corresponding with him via email so he's getting a little concern anyways on his way to his farmhouse he sees someone walking in a headless beaver suit and and of course this catches his attention his attention because it's like 150 degrees outside and he's like what is going on so he has to pull over and it's um a petite little girl or woman i should say in this suit and she looks highly upset now this person happens to be blue bailey who is the heroine of our novel now ba uh, blue has had a stint of bad luck um, someone close to her has cleared out her bank account. On top of that, her ex took off with a car that she helped buy, or I think she purchased outright. Uh, I don't quite remember that, but she has murder on her mind and he is number one on her list. So, um, Dean decides to, you know, go along for the ride because he's looking for some type of entertainment because he's bored out of his mind and he wants to you know, keep his mind off of his shoulder because it was injured uh, during a game and he had surgery on it. And well, he's in recovery mode. Now, when Blue hops into the car, he takes a look at her getup. She is this little petite woman in cut off shorts, oversized combat boots, a, I, well, I want to use the PC term of a um, a a T-shirt, <laughs> a tank top T-shirt, and a, an extremely bad haircut. And Dean, he's you know he's really stylish, clean cut. Um, you know he's a model, so of course he's wearing designer clothes, and it, they look complete opposites. But Dean is intrigued by and and surprisingly attracted to her so of course he's like you know what <laughs> i need some company why don't you hop in the car and i'll take you where you need to go you know because that's what we do we hop into cars with strangers yeah that's so safe but you know to blue dean is her saving grace you know this is um <laughs> 
a angel from heaven because she's just having the worst week, worst day, worst moment. And so she accepts the ride. Now, Dean lies about who he is. He says his name is Heath Champion, who happens to be his sports agent. Of course, he doesn't want her to know who he really is, which I understand completely. I mean, you know, why not pick up a stranger? But then we're going to be oddly uh, secretive about who we are, really. But at this point, Blue doesn't care. She's on a mission and she's wishing someone can cure her lonely condition. <laughs> That's a throwback for you 80s babies out there. Uh, drop a comment below if you can tell me where that's from. Two cool points if you can. <laughs> Anyways, back to our story. So um, Blue is on for the ride. She um, has nowhere else to go. She has no money in her pocket. And Dean obviously does because he pulled up in a $200,000 car and she knows that he is the means to an end for her. And so she's willing to take the risk. Now, she also thinks that <laughs> Dean might not be wrapped too tight because Dean is playing the dumb role and she has no idea. She thinks that, you know, he might be the dumb jock that uh, he looks. She knows who, who he really is, but she's going to play along just so she can stay in the car for as long as possible. Now, Dean, again, is really intrigued by this woman. She is not his normal type. Um, he is used to women that look like they walked right off the runway, right into his arms. She does not, but she's mysterious. She's funny and there might be something there. He doesn't know it yet, but you know, he's along for the ride as well. So um, Blue is willing to hang on for as long as possible. And she knows that Dean Robillard is used to a certain type of lady, but if she remains a mystery to him, she knows that she can keep him, you know, she can kind of keep him interested but she just needs to keep her knees locked and her clothes on. But that's gonna be really hard for her because she's extremely attracted to him. I mean, who wouldn't be? This guy's face has been plastered, well, his body has been plastered all over billboards across America, and it is a sight to see. So taking on the you can look but don't touch persona is her bus pass recovering from the curveball that life has thrown her and she's willing to continue on that path so she can get back up on her feet because she is the epitome of a starving artist and she will do whatever she can to survive. So she is now in survival mode and you know, there's some sparks flying between them that they're both denying. Dean more so because again, she's not his normal, uh, she doesn't fall into the norm for him. But you know, while he's denying his feelings, he's also got to sort out that past that's come roaring back into the uh, into his life in the form of his parents. Um, his father is an aging rock star and his mother is a former uh, drug user who's also a bombshell. Um, now Blue is placed in the middle of the chaos and she's an unwilling mediator, but her growing feelings for him um, will outweigh the consequences of falling for someone who may possibly be emotionally unavailable. Um, shout out to the ones that have fallen for those who are emotionally bankrupt. Anyways, that's it for me today, guys. I hope you enjoy this story and I hope you decide to check out Natural Born Charmer and Susan Elizabeth Phillips' other books in the series. If not this series, definitely the Why Not series. That's if, it, of course, you're into uh, romance novels. If you're not, you know, try something new. Now, if you made it this far and you're not a part of the family, don't be shy. Hit that subscribe button and the bell right next to it so you know every time I upload. Also, I'd like to hear from you. I'd like to know what your favorite author is or who your favorite author is and your favorite novel. Uh, until then, guys, I will see you later. Ciao.